Hi guys, my name is King. I'm a third year medical student studying at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. In this video, I'm going to talk about the application procedure for CU Medicine, specifically for degree holders and also med school transfers. The reason I make this video is because I am also a degree holder myself. I graduated from CU Nursing two years ago, and the application procedure for me was quite frustrating. There's not much information online, I got no one to ask, even information in the forums are quite outdated and inaccurate. So I kind of understand how you may feel right now. That's why I want to create this series of videos, from the start of application to interview, to kind of shed some light on the different challenges you may face and how I overcome them. So who is this video for? So first, you're a degree holder. Either you're graduating from your first degree in June 2020, or you have acquired your first degree already. Second, med school transfer. So that means you are currently studying in a medical school overseas and are considering to coming back to Hong Kong to continue your study in CU Medicine. So let's get the basics out of the way. The application form is accessed through the undergraduate admission website. Therefore, it is completely online. So don't worry about flying back to Hong Kong for the application until you are called upon for the interview. The form is also used by all students applying for different degrees in CU, and I think it's quite intuitive to use. But I've also linked all the information in the description below if you're watching YouTube, or in the post description if you're watching Instagram. So, for the deadline, it is January the 6th of 2020, so you've got around a month to prepare your application. So for document submission, the document you submit are quite similar to other non-medical applicants, so I won't go over every bit of them. Instead, I want to focus on several important documents for you. First, your personal statement. For others, it's two page upper limit, so that's around a thousand words. But for medical school applicants, it's only 250 words limit. And let me tell you, it's the hardest thing I've ever written so far. Second, academic qualification. And that not only means your current degree's GPA, the results, but also include your DSE, IB, GC results. Third, recommendation letter. So you can invite up to three people to write the recommendation. But for CU, there's a twist, which I think is quite bizarre. So instead of uploading the letter, they have to actually access through the system through an independent account and write their recommendation. So number four and five, and these are specifically for med school transfer. So you have to submit a detailed description of all the courses you have taken in your current medical school so CU can kind of assess where you are right now and which year you are admitted to. Also, it is mandatory to have a recommendation from the dean of your current medical school. So, the key of submitting document is uploading them as soon as possible. So don't worry, you may not have all documents right now, say your second semester result or a final GPA, but you can actually upload these documents after you have submitted your application. So what would I recommend you do right now until the application deadline? First, set up an account right now to kind of understand how the system works, how to upload, how to pay the application fee. Second, draft and write your personal statement and CV because this is how the way you stand out from the crowd. Third, ask somebody you trust or know you well to write the recommendation letter. Whew, that's a lot of information. But don't worry, I put all the relevant information in the description below if you're watching YouTube or in the post description if you're watching Instagram. So if you think this video is helpful, consider giving a like and share it to your friends. And if you have any questions about the application procedure or you want me to cover something else next, comment down below. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.